dear students of class 10 a and 10 b you know our ex president of india pranam mukherjee has breathed his last so on this under this circumstances i would, I, i request you to be silent for 2 minutes okay thank you now today our chapter number 2 the president and the vice president here one one point is there examples of presidential rule in india examples of presidential rule in india you know the presidential rule is imposed in many states of india presidential rule was imposed in many states of india one after one many states of india came under the imposition of presidential rule under which circumstances when its uh, uh, constitutional machinery was broken down under such circumstances the presidential rule was imposed uh, on uh, imposed on many states of india i am giving some examples and uh, with statistics the first one is uh, in the year 19 uh, you know 77 Uh, presidential rule was imposed in 19 uh, sorry in the year 1951 the presidential rule was imposed uh, imposed on punjab it was uh, punjab came under presidential rule in the year 1951 1951 punjab came under presidential rule and then in which year in the year 1977 uh, you know nine states were brought under presidential rule the name of the uh, nine states of india uh, um, now what was the cause the cause was the their state assemblies no longer reflected public views views of the people that's why these states nine states came uh, nine states were brought under presidential rule in the year 1977 and in the year december in the year 1992 in december 1992 presidential president's rule was imposed in uh, some other states in 1992 like uttar pradesh madhya pradesh rajasthan himachal pradesh uttar pradesh madhya pradesh rajasthan and himachal pradesh these were the states of india where imposed uh, where president's rule were imposed in the year 1992 and on october 21 what happened in the year 1997 in india on october 90 october 21 1997 the indian cabinet recommended recommended the imposition of president's rule in uttar pradesh what were the allegations behind it their allegations was the Uh, legislative you know vidhan sabha did not follow the uh, system of the constitution and they brought allegations against the vidhan sabha uttar, uttar pradesh the allegation of acts of violence but the president did not the president felt that 
acts of violence did not imply breakdown of constitutional machinery acts of violence in the vidhan sabha or legislative assembly uh, uh, does not imply uh, the act of constitutional uh, breakdown breaking down of constitutional machineries in that case uh, the president uh, politely denied politely denied to accept their proposal and uh, the recommendation whatever recommendation was uh, made by the uh, made for the president it was not uh, accepted by the president president uh, that means he returned the recommendation the president re returned the recommendation returned the recommendation for proclamation of uh, uh, and uh, re recommendation uh, by saying it that the uh, you know uh, act of violence in the vidhan sabha uh, does not imply does not imply that it has broken down the constitutional machinery that's why president did not accept the proposal and ultimately he uh, returned the recommendation for proclamation of president's rule and next uh, in the year 2013 in the year 2013 president's rule was imposed on jharkhand it was due to the withdrawal of a political party jharkhand mukti morcha jmm because in jharkhand in the year 19 in the year 19 uh, 2013 bjp uh, bjp formed a coalition government bjp formed a coalition government in the year 2013 and uh, bjp was with uh, jharkhand mukti morcha jmm but jmm jmm suddenly withdrew its support uh, pushing uh, the bjp into a minority and ultimately the bjp became a minor a minority bjp became minority so under such circumstances uh, the president's president's rule was imposed in jharkhand and chief minister you know uh, chief minister had to resign uh, arjun munda resigned and sought the dissolution of the state assembly so these are the incidents these are the instances the president's rule president's rule uh, was imposed in different states of india one by one now financial emergency under what circumstances the president can declare finan financial emergency the president suppose is satisfied that a situation has arisen whereby the financial stability of the country or the, the financial uh, stability of the country or or the nation is threatened in that case the president can declare a financial emergency now duration how long the financial uh, emergency uh, how long can the financial emergency be continued such a proclamation has to be led before both houses of parliament and is valid for 2 months unless it is approved by resolution of both houses of parliament if the lok sabha is dissolved when such a proclamation is uh, done or is made and a resolution supporting it is passed by the rajya sabha suppose the lok sabha is dissolved meanwhile a proclamation for uh, the you know uh, uh, financial emergency Uh, a proclamation for financial emergency is uh, declared uh, a proclamation for financial emergency is uh, is done in that case lok sabha is not there lok sabha is dissolved but financial emergency uh, declaring of financial emergency in the country uh, is very important to the president in that case president uh, under such circumstances where the lok sabha is dissolved the president uh, forced the president is forced to declare financial emergency in the country now what happened to the situation what happened to the circumstances what happened to the president how what is about the system of the constitution of india 
the president lok sabha is not there lok sabha is not in the session lok sabha is uh, lok sabha is dissolved but president had to declare financial emergency because the financial condition of the country of the nation is threatened and hence president declared financial emergency as per the system of the constitution the proposal since lok sabha is dissolved the proposal for declaring national uh, financial emergency will be passed by the rajya sabha in presence of the members of the rajya sabha a proposal for financial emergency in the country uh, will be passed in the rajya sabha according to which a report will be sent to the office of the president and president will uh, president will continue continue it till the situation of uh, the financial stability of the country uh, will be normal and in that case the president uh, will uh, will not withdraw will not revoke the financial emergency from uh, from the country until uh, the economic stability of the country is stable that's why the role of president in that case and the role of rajya sabha is very important both the rajya sabha and uh, the president uh, play an important role at the time of declaring financial uh, uh, financial emergency when the lok sabha is not in session or lok sabha is dissolved so what is about the effect of financial emergency now i am going to discuss about the effect of financial emergency what is about the effect of financial emergency what is about the effect of financial emergency in the country the financial emergency of the country and its effect you know the president may appoint a finance a finance commission the president may appoint a finance commission to suggest methods uh, to get out of the financial crisis of the country how he may adopt suitable measures for uh, suitable measures to uh, to restore financial stability in the uh, light of recommendations of the finance com finance commission that means a finance commission is set up in order to uh, normalize the situation of the country and in order to uh, in order to make the country financially stable a finance commission is uh, is uh, appointed by the president of india and finance the and members of the finance commission the chairman and deputy chairman of the finance commission once uh, uh, deputy uh, chairman and deputy chairman of the finance commission play an important role in making uh, all the members aware of the present situation of the country where financial stability of the country is threatened and the uh, president uh, you know declared financial emergency so the president can reduce under such circumstances salaries and allowances of all or uh, the classes of persons and after uh, including the judges of the supreme court the judges of the high courts and uh, later it may be uh, increased first he may reduce and uh, later on when the circumstances the the economic stability of the country uh, is uh, uh, is uh, stable when the economic stability of the country becomes stable uh, the president may increase the salaries of the uh, you know uh, justice of the you know judges of the supreme court judges of the high courts and other dignitaries of india now all money bills passed by the lok sabha you know are to be submitted to the president for his or her consideration the president during financial emergency during financial emergency the money bills which are passed in the lok sabha uh, are to be submitted to the presidents 
office for his recommendation, for his consideration or for his consent. The president can issue instruction to the states in regard to uh, utilization of funds in the manner he thinks fit. So under the circumstances where the president declares financial emergency, the president suggests uh, certain methods uh, for um, uh, utilizing the funds uh, regarding the crisis period. The president may order the state to submit money bills to him for his assent and financial emergency has never been declared since the promulgation of the constitution. Since it is the promulgation of the constitution, that's why the president may, uh, the president, the financial emergency has been declared, has never been declared, the financial emergency has never been declared since it is the promulgation of the constitution. But there is a provision in the constitution that it is only the president can declare financial emergency if he considers that, uh, if he considers that the financial condition of the country is threatened, the financial stability of the country has become uh, has become, you know, weakened under such circumstances in the interest of the country in order to strengthen the financial stability of the country, the president can declare financial emergency. And in that case, the constitution, uh, the provision of the constitution, of, the provision of promulgation of the constitution uh, uh, would, uh, uh, would support, uh, would provide, would provide uh, the proper would provide certain, you know, you provide uh, opportunities for the president to declare the uh, financial emergency in the country. So these are the, you know, uh, provisions and some examples of a president's rule in the country, uh, president's rule in different states of India. And another important thing that is very important, the president and uh, the president during emergency, the president during emergency, you know, uh, plays an important role. During emergency, the president plays an important role. In which way? In which way? Now I am going to discuss about it. Role of the president during general emergency. During general emergency, what is about the role of the president? During general emergency, the president keeps watch over the activities of all political parties of India, including the administrative system of the country, whether it runs smoothly or whether there is any kind of, you know, uh, obligations, any kind of, uh, you know, uh, any, any kind of uh, problems, any kind of irregularities. Uh, if something like that uh, is seen, the president may take initiative in order to uh, remove all kinds of uh, contrast, all kinds of irregularities from the administration and from the country. Since it is a, a general emergency, the president may, uh, the president, cons uh, the president communicates the message, messages from time to time to different offices, and as per the uh, as per the messages communicated by the president for different administrative sections and from different uh, for different offices, the action, the immediate action is taken, and otherwise the you know the you know uh, service holders of different you know offices or officers of different uh, you administrative section 
their service and uh, they may be dismissed from their services now this is the natural this is general emergency and during general emergency in order to establish law and order strongly in the country the president uh, always the president and uh, as per the system of the president president's rule throughout the country each and every person each and every you know uh, uh, officers of different depart departments uh, different offices including uh, you know uh, communication uh, railways airways uh, you know uh, waterways everywhere even on roadways people's role people and role of the role of the people of the whole country uh, is very important and uh, due to this reason president plays an important role in the in important role in regard to establish uh, a financial establish political stability in the country so that law and order is is established strongly in the country and country's administration can run very smoothly up to this my dear students next day the remaining points thank you and those who are not preparing homework properly not submitting homework copies i am request i am requesting them you must make your homeworks properly and submit your copies before you sit for exam you have to prove it that you worked you worked during uh, the lockdown period and correct uh, and uh, got your copies corrected by your subject teachers thank you my dear students